this week on Rocks in a Hard Place. It's the ideal piece of kit, it will go across any piece of ground. Dougie and Gav put some new kit through its paces and the lads reveal some hidden talents. Like my mates just came as for being a geek sometimes, I, I take the moral high ground. <laughs> Despite being in the middle of a six-month tour in a foreign country, it's vital the men of two squadron keep their skills sharp. Indeed, for some of the newer members of the squadron, being constantly taught on operations is the perfect way to learn. For others, learning on ops is also a perfect excuse to get down to the very serious business of mastering new driving skills. Quad, um, ATV as it's commonly called in the forces, um, it's just an extra advanced piece of kit for when the, uh, the squadron's out on patrols, um, especially as they're now coming into the hot weather, it's the ideal piece of kit, it will go across any piece of ground and plus we now have the benefits of adding a trailer onto the back which you can also put ECM kit in, spare ammunition and it's also uh, stretcher capable so if you get anyone injured on the ground you can uh, convert the trailer to a stretcher and bring the injured person back into camp. And we used them in Afghan, like, you know, a big, big help, especially for the snipers. It means they could cover lots of ground and that bounce. Like if they're looking at a village, they can bounce around it. You see loads of like coming for different angles in one night rather than putting a, being out there for loads of nights and having to tab round. So it just it just speeds things up and makes things easier for us. Like. I think the, the lads do see it as a, a bit of a jolly, but they all know the outcome. It's going to be serious. It's going to be work related. Um, it's the same with any type of vehicle. Um, we all like to get hands on new vehicles or new toys, as the lads call them, quite a bit. But um, I think they definitely know that these are going to benefit the squadron in the long run. The quad's really simple to use. Like, it's just you just got to learn how to shift to weight and in and out the corners, like and up and down hills, like so that's a bit time, like. Yeah, it's great fun. Like, really enjoyed it. I'll be gutted when I go back onto patrol and like, <laughs> pretty shattered. Like yesterday, started at half eight, finished at half three, which isn't that long. Shift. It's a good shift out here, but I drank 11 litres of water and I like teed once. Absolutely hanging out. Dougie's quad training also provides the opportunity for one of two squadrons volunteer reserve members to indulge in his passion. I like taking photographs of, um, you know, sort of like scenery and aircraft, everything. It gives the time when you especially um, when you sort of like go away to special places and then you get to take photographs of different places that you never see and you meet different people as well, so it's quite good. That's a bit of fun. With his quad training complete, Dougie shows me the latest game, keeping the lads on B-flight amused in their spare time. It's a new, a new If they see him at a time, they can spin right round. <laughs> <laughs> For Chris, however, his special talent means that his spare time is always filled. Yeah, I did it for about a year when I uh, was 16 and it uh, slipped out one day and uh, ever since the lads have been conning me. Hairdresser to uh, Brickies Labourer, to uh, Handyman, to work in nightclub, to this. It's at least two efforts a week I'm doing, so... <laughs> that's out of my spare time, so that's annoying, but to my lads it doesn't matter. But I, uh, I should start charging, really. And for Geordie Lovejoy, spare time is about studying for a university degree in computing. Just sick of watching like Coronation Street and bollocks on the telly on the night. So I just started doing um, like a, a one, one year course, level one course. Um, just got a bit of a bug for it for a while. Come away, you spend your days like if you're on QRF or, or just like hanging about. May as well be doing something constructive in my time. The course I'm doing now is probably one of the hard, hardest ones I've done up and out to be honest. And it's, um, it's really like scientifically based with being uh, artificial intelligence. And like when you're getting deep into the theory of that, then all of a sudden like it's like like Jordy needed to go and run a range or to go and throw out some bulldogs with a say yes. It's like alright then. <laughs> uh, it is a uh, 
like when things are happening, you only get caught away, and it's just, just flipping the switch between like two different worlds. Like my mates just came as for being a geek sometimes, you're like, but it's uh, at the end of the day, like when they're just f***ing off watching the same DVD for the f***ing 12th time, like, wow. Well, I take the moral high ground. <laughs> Next time on Rocks in a Hard Place. Always an airborne gunner first. Just in case we have rise to the occasion. Sea Flight have a new challenge on the hands. And it's the countdown to R&R. &R. A lot of golf, a lot of fishing, spending on the, the weather and things. I just chill out with the family, don't we, really.